Good morning everyone. So I am a hot sweaty mess after that walk. I just showed you some clips. We went out for breakfast this morning and then we walked back through the fields and it was just beautiful, beautiful. It is a, a stunning, stunning day today. It is going to hit 30 plus degrees. I think we're probably nearly at 30 degrees now because it's about midday. So yes, it's rather, rather warm. But we walked into town, we had the most wonderful breakfast at our favourite, favourite place. And yeah, then we walked back through the fields and it was just glorious. So we are getting ready now and we are going to head out to some lavender farms that are about, I think it's about 40 minutes from us, so it's not too, too far. But I love lavender. We're also going to attempt to film a reel for Instagram. Now, I've never really done a reel before, so we'll see how it goes. If it is successful, I'll link it down below in the description box. If it's not there, it's because it was not successful. I'm not very technically minded, but we will see how we go. We're going to give it a go. We've got quite a fun idea, so hopefully it will work anyway. So we're going to do that in a moment, and we are then going to head off to the lavender field. So I will bring you along with us. I think that they have lavender ice cream there lavender ice cream I, I think some people would either love lavender ice cream or hate it i quite like floral things like i love um for example earl grey tea so i love kind of floral stuff within tea so hopefully i will like floral kind of ice cream we'll see i'll let you know so i'll just bet boo running in what you doing what you doing yes at your bed it's her bed mind you she never blinking sleeps in it she always sleeps in our bed Anyway, right, we're going to head out. We're going to do the reel and then we're going to head out and yeah, I will catch you all in a bit. Jamie is just sorting himself out getting ready. So I thought I would just quickly show you this week's Freddy's flowers. How gorgeous are they? So the lilies are just starting to open up, but they are going to be a stunning colour. There's some more lilies around the back there that aren't opened yet. And the most perfect white rose. Oh, gorgeous. Well, there's actually three perfect white roses within the bouquet, but it's beautiful. Again, it's got that real kind of from the garden feel, which I just love. It's just like a really nice kind of English sort of picnic type feel to it. So loving those. And we have arrived. Sorry if it's a bit, oh, if it's a bit jittery. I'm just sliding down the hill as I'm walking down. But how gorgeous is it? lovely we'll get in a bit closer of course and the sky i know no clouds in the sky this is so rare in the uk so we are making the absolute most of it most of it neither of us have bought sun cream though so um definitely gonna get that today that is a rookie error nice to see some poppies in the sunshine and not in the pouring rain so these are all new ones which is why they aren't quite as developed as the ones in this field so it says here that these were planted in august 2020 each one planted by hand it will take them about three years each to um, roughly reach the shape and size of the original rows which are now 20 years old wow <laughs> gorgeous Wow, just look at the beauty of this and the smell. I wish you could smell what I can smell. It's incredible. And I can imagine at dusk it would be even better because lavender always smells better at dusk. But just, oh, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. Oh my God, how beautiful is this? <laughs> That's attractive. <laughs> We've got ice creams. <laughs> Toffee and honeycomb. Um, mm, mm. Okay. It's dripping because it's so hot. Uh, strawberries and cream. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this off camera. <laughs> It's 30 plus degrees heat. We've got to walk up this hill to get back to the car. Come on. <sighs> oh, you bugger. Jamie, come back. Come back. 
got a ride. <laughs> Jamie is actually pushing me up the hill. This is a husband of the year moment right there. Husband of the decade. Maybe even a century. We've just got back from Lordington Lavender Fields and it was gorgeous. Never in my life have I been quite as thankful for air conditioning in the car though when we got back. It was baking whilst we were there but it was so beautiful so so beautiful so well worth a trip i think actually it's only on this week i think today might be in the last day because i think i only do one week a year where you can go and visit them so it was a quite busy because of that fact but so 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 worth the trip i think we're going to chill out in the garden have a little bit of chill time i actually got a new macbook pro in the week so i think at some point we're going to set that up because i thought that it was about time that i invested in a good laptop to do my editing on and all of my paperwork for classes as well at the moment my laptop that i've been using not for editing that's been on my ipad because actually my laptop is so ancient that i don't think i'd be able to download any editing software on it so yes my laptop that i do my paperwork on currently is about 12 years old no longer works without being plugged in or anything like that sometimes it doesn't switch on sometimes it does so it was time that i made the investment so i think at some point today we're gonna um, maybe bring it out into the garden and do a little bit of work on that and set that up i also am hoping to edit my reel that we took hopefully i think it should be successful but we'll see and yeah i think that will be us for the day having a nice bit of chill time so if we do anything of interest i will of course um show you but if not i will probably speak to you tomorrow oh i forgot to say i did buy a couple of bits at the lavender field so i will show you that later um just a couple of little sort of gift shoppy bits they had some marquees up along the way which one of them had some ice cream which you saw that we got unfortunately they were out of the lavender ice cream they completely sold out of it the day before so we didn't get that but we did get the other ice cream which was very delicious and yeah oh jamie's brought the laptop down now so we will get going and get going on that so yes i will show you the bits that we that i bought later today and yeah i think that's it i'm so hot i'm not complaining in the slightest i love it it's mad though because it's sunday today monday at the beginning of the week it took jamie two hours to get home from work because we had so much rain that a little bridge on the way home completely flooded people were stuck in their cars or actually on top standing on top of their cars because their cars were stuck in the water and now it's 30 degrees boiling hot sunshine if people don't believe in climate change they've only got to look around at what's going on in the world at the moment and those poor poor people in germany i mean the floods that they've had in germany this week have just been horrendous so yeah if any of you are watching from germany if torben if you're watching i hope that you are all okay and um and doing all right and sending out my wishes well wishes and good thoughts and good vibes over to you because it's just terrifying isn't it but um yeah we've only got to look around the world to know that climate change is definitely a thing Bebo? buddy what are you doing it's too hot for you isn't it you're gonna stay in the shade she doesn't know what to do with herself. She's just like, where, where do I go? Good morning, everyone. It is now a couple of days later. I was going to vlog yesterday and the day just ran away with me. So I didn't get a chance to, but I have been up and I have been so productive already this morning that I almost feel quite angelic. It is um, 10 14 in the morning. It is Tuesday today. I, it is going to be baking again in the UK. It is going to be a really, really warm day again, which no complaints here. I absolutely love the sunshine, but it is going to reach about 33 today, which is crazy warm for the UK. We just, we don't get that heat and our houses are designed to keep the heat in rather than let it out because it's obviously normally very, very cold in the UK. So we're not very good in these kind of temperatures. Our houses aren't designed to be cool in the heat. They're designed just to be hot. 
so yes it is rather warm poor betty just doesn't know what to do with herself bless her she's just lounging around and she keeps getting up and moving around somewhere else getting up moving around because she can't just kind of settle bless her so she's struggling a little bit but as i said i am not complaining i was however up at 5 a.m this morning because i needed to film a youtube video a workout that is actually already up it went up on wednesday so that is already up i'll leave it linked down below it is a resistance band workout a full body one it involves some standing exercises some laying down exercises some on your front some on all fours so a really nice mixed bag workout but I just needed to get up early when it was slightly cooler to get the workout filmed and to get it done. So I've done that this morning. I have also been to a client's house and done a one-to-one -one session with a client as well. And now I am back. So I feel like I've done quite a lot for 10 o'clock in the morning. So I'm about to have some breakfast. I was going to do some weeding in the garden because I need to do some weeding around my hydrangeas but I'm not sure if it's just going to be a bit too hot so I may not get that done. I am going to wrap up Jamie's birthday presents because it is his birthday on Friday so that will be really really lovely. I am hopefully going to vlog his birthday as well so that will be quite nice. Oh that reminds me I need to order the donuts. I need to order the donuts because the place that we got the donuts done from for my dad's birthday do a birthday stack. So I've got to do that. In fact, I'm going to do that right now because I'll forget if I carry on chatting to you. So hold on for two seconds. Okay, I have messaged them. So fingers crossed because it is Tuesday and his birthday is on Friday. So fingers crossed I've done it in enough time. The thought just suddenly came to me as I was driving to my client's house. Oh my goodness, because I was thinking I'll get a nice birthday cake for him. And I was like, no, we need to get the donut birthday stack. I've just got a picture up because it's been on, I've been on their Facebook page to order it. And let me see if that's gonna, the light shining on it a little bit funny there. There we go. So hopefully that's focused enough for you to see it anyway. It's always a bit difficult. Oh, I think that's better a bit further away. Anyway, that is the donut stack. So they look amazing. Hopefully I have done that in time so we can enjoy those on his birthday. So, and hopefully over the next couple of days, because let's face it, we're not going to eat all of those. Although I think we probably could, if I'm completely honest, we we are quite good at eating donuts. I almost feel like we've, we've built up quite a talent for it. So I feel like we actually could probably do them all in one day, but we will try to avoid that. Um, there's Betty sneezing in the background. She's just decided to get up and join us. So yes, I am going to wrap up Jamie's presents. I also want to go through the, um, down the bathroom upstairs I want to go through my cosmetics drawer I showed you it in my cleaning vlog and I just didn't have the energy to do it in my cleaning vlog so I'm hoping to kind of go through that and sort that out and tidy that a little bit today as well and yeah some other bits and pieces so I will bring you along and show you what I get up to I don't think I will be walking Betty today because I think it's just going to be far too hot for her so I think perhaps Jamie will walk her later this evening when he gets in from work. But I have got classes to teach this evening. So I'm starving. I've been chatting to you for God knows how long. So I'm going to have myself some breakfast. And I've got to actually edit my video that I filmed this morning. So my workout video this morning. So I'm going to edit that whilst I eat my breakfast. And then crack on with the rest of my day. Are you trying your best to stay cool, baby? It's hard, isn't it? Oh, she's so tired and just exhausted. Poor little baby. Okay, so it is a few hours later, guys. Although, to be honest, it could be three days later, really. Oh, so I've just been on the phone to Barry twice, which is where I got my MacBook Pro from that you saw me unboxing earlier in the video. And so basically the MacBook arrived, the little mouse thing that I ordered with it arrived, but I also ordered the Microsoft package with it as well, so I could have Word, PowerPoint, Excel, all of those kind of ones on it, so I can continue doing my paperwork and stuff. And that didn't arrive, so I've just been on the phone to Barry for, I was on hold for 45 minutes the first time, just as I get through to someone and explain my problem, it cuts out. It's great, it's great. And then I call back again and I'm on the phone for a further 25 minutes on hold again and 
it cuts out again. Now, I don't know if it's a fault their end or if it's a fault my end. The signal isn't always amazing in this house, but I've had enough, so I've finished that for the day and I will try and call them tomorrow because I actually think that if I was to actually speak to someone now, I'd be like, ah, it's just not worth it because it's not their fault. So let's just chill out and I will call them back tomorrow, but I'll update you on what's happened with that as and when. But I just thought that I would quickly show you my pieces that I got from the lavender farms because I've just remembered that I have yet to show you it. So I got three things. My first one is a lavender hand wash. I have used it. It smells amazing. Very, very nice. And I got a also the matching lavender hand and body cream. So this is all made, I believe, on site. I'm not sure, I'm not sure actually whether it's done on site, but the it is from the lavender that is at Lordington. And I also got a candle. So I'll just get that out and show you. Now the candle I'm gonna give to my mum. So my mum, bless her, was desperate, desperate to go to the lavender fields, but she just didn't end up being able to make it. So I thought that I would get her a lovely Lordington candle and um yeah and so she'll feel as though or smell as though she's been in her house anyway oh, that smells amazing you can buy their bits online so i actually might buy myself a candle because that smells tasty very very nice i love the smell of lavender so those are the little bits that i bought from the fields and yeah all in this little very cute bag so that was very very nice now I'm just wrapping up Jamie's presents and I just thought I'd quickly show you as well what I've got him. Now it really looks as though I haven't got him much because, well, I actually haven't. But we are going on Friday. I can't remember if I said earlier on in the video or not. That very cool has just completely messed up my brain. So on Friday, on his actual birthday, we're going to head over to the outlets at Gunwolf Keys and Jamie, bless him, is desperate for some new clothes and some new bits and pieces. He's not like me. He doesn't shop like me, which... I understand is a good thing because if we were both like me, we would be in financial difficulty. So it's a good job that one of us is at least sensible with their money and he reins me in as well, so that's good. But that does mean that he literally has no clothes at the moment and he has holes in his socks and everything. So we're gonna take him shopping and I'm gonna buy him some bits for his birthday um, at Gunwolf Keys. But I did get him just a couple of bits to open. So the first one is the Tom Ford Ombre Leather the body spray again just giving you a little close-up of that this smells so good so good we actually went into space nk and one of the girls in there took jamie off while i was being served by someone else and sprayed him with this and he came back and i was like oh my god we need some of that you need some of that that smells amazing i will probably be nicking some of this if i'm completely honest as well because it smells that good the second thing I've got him, very boring, but it is a box of 12 sorted caramel grenade protein bars. Jamie loves these, so that is always a good present. And yes, yeah, so I got him a box of 12 of those, which should keep him going for a little while. Actually, probably only a week or so, at, well, 12 days probably. And the third and final thing that he has got to open, which is so utterly, utterly boring, but it is a set of, I think there's six or 12 in here. How many are there in here? Two black, two white, two gray, so six, um, of no-show trainer socks. Now, his socks, literally the other day, I should have showed you on the vlog because his whole foot was hanging out of the whole of his sock. I mean, there was more foot than sock. It was utterly mad. So um, he needs these in his life. So I got him some no-show trainer socks from Amazon as well. So those are the three things. The most exciting thing is by far the Tom Ford. The others are, well, protein bar. Jamie will find that exciting. Socks, maybe not so much, but they are definitely needed. And I got him a card as well. <laughs> this card made me crack up. Now, we have a bit of an inside joke, me and Jamie, about um, his trainers. His mum and dad will also know what I'm talking about with this. So it says on here, James, so nearly Jamie, but not quite. James goes into a shop with £30. He buys some tennis socks for £2 and some trainers for £23. What does he come away with? And then someone's written along, uh, written on the bottom of it some really crap trainers and just 
it just made me crack up. I just found it very, very funny and very, very amusing. And as I said, it's a little bit of an inside joke with Jamie and I, so that will make him laugh, I'm sure. So that's his card. I'm going to wrap up his bits and pieces. I've got some tissue paper left over from my dad's birthday present. So I'm going to wrap up the bits and pieces in that. Write his card. And yeah, I think that will probably be it for the day. Oh no, I really, really, really need to clear out the bathroom. So the bathroom drawer. I keep putting it off, but I'm going to have to do it. I said I'd do it on the vlog, so I've got to do it. So I'm going to wrap up this and then we will get cracking on the bathroom. And then it will probably be time for me to go to work for my evening classes. So let's get all of this done nice and quickly so maybe i might have you know a few minutes to sit down and eat some lunch you never know bleaking very they've taken up my entire day oh, entire day okay let's get cracking okay and this is the mess that i have to contend with it looks so bad so bad okay i'm gonna pop you there there we go and i am going to get this done 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 and it's going to look sparkling it's going to look so beautiful afterwards you won't recognize it okay let's crack on this is looking a bit better there's still a lot of stuff in there but at least it's all clean in there now so my organization i have got all of my face stuff here going upwards I've got body stuff this cream guys I'm going to do a July favorites video at the beginning of August because I want to just shout out to a few things but this body cream is incredible so body stuff as my eyelash stuff as well so that's kind of in with my skincare and then I have got all of my teeth stuff with my braces and all of those bits and bobs and then my hair stuff here with some purple shampoo there so it is about as organized as it's going to get if i'm honest i could probably do with a bigger drawer but um considering i'm taking up that entire drawer and that drawer is mostly mine as well well it's kind of mixed but it's mostly mine let's face it um yeah i can't really complain the only thing is, is i don't think it quite shuts oh okay might have to lie those down but you get the gist you get the gist and then my shower cap's just gonna basically sit on top so that is not looking too too bad oh i am feeling so sweaty oh the sun's gone in temporarily that little bit of blue lighting there anyway i am gonna sit down now and i'm gonna have some lunch i'm glad i cleared out that little bathroom drawer there actually it didn't take me long at all and had i not said at the beginning of the vlog that i was going to do it i wouldn't have done so vlogging most definitely makes me more productive because i say i'm going to do things and then i have to do them so it is good in that respect most definitely so and i enjoy chatting to you throughout the day chatting to the camera you know not having a response back but i actually quite enjoy it so guys i am going to finish the video here i hope that you have enjoyed today's video i really hope you enjoyed the lavender fields and seeing all of that and then just me kind of plodding around the house doing bits and pieces moaning about my very account and my macbook but hey ho i hope that you guys enjoyed it and i will look forward to seeing you all in the next video so i will be vlogging again on friday on jamie's birthday and probably over the majority of the weekend as well so i will catch you all then have a lovely lovely week and I'll see you all on Wednesday. Take care, guys. Bye.